want to know Have you ever seen the rain Coming down on a sunny day Hi, I'm Lisa. I am the ukulele fool, foolishly believing that this song has a deeper philosophical tone to it than maybe just, you know, having it rain when there's sunshine out, which we've seen that, right? Okay, let's dive in. There's some harder things, but I'm going to show you a stripped down easy version first because I want to make this accessible to everybody on their ukulele journey. Grab your instrument. Let's do this together. You need five beginner friendly chords for this song. The one finger chords are a C. There's an A minor as well. And for a little extra flavor, we throw in a C7. Then there's also a two finger chord, the F. Like this. Then there's a G chord, and I recommend two different ways to finger it. You can use these two fingers and put them on the C string and the A string, and your ring finger goes on the E string, third fret, so on 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret. Using the same frets, you can swap these two fingers. You can put your index finger on the A, reach over with your middle finger to the C string. That is another way to do it that works really well for many beginners. I like to do a two beat strum with this and you have to double it up to equal four beats. So it sounds like this. One, two, and three, four, and I'm playing it on a C chord. So two of the two beat patterns equals one package of four beats and being able to keep track of those four beats is a really important musical skill. Let's try playing four measures of a C chord. So counting it out, so nice and slowly. Do it with me, don't let me just talk at you. One, two, here we go. One, two, and three. In the verses, you're going along happily with each chord getting two measures or eight beats total until we get to the very end. And then C and C7 at the very end, they only get one measure a piece. So let me just play that last line for you. I know, shining down like water. So the C and C7 only get four beats instead of eight. Let's just practice it together. No pesky lyrics. Let's just kind of count out the strumming. One, two, here we go. C, two, and three, and four. C again. One, two, three, and four, and G. stamp to help you if you need to get back and do that and don't forget you can control the speed on YouTube if you need me to go slower you can do that and if I'm going to do slow for you you can bump up the speed too in the chorus everything just gets one measure per chord so it's a down down up down down up for each chord so let's give that a try this is the most basic version I'll show you how we can spice it up after we get through laying a good foundation so one Two, and here we go. F, two, and G, two, and C, two, and A minor, two, and F, two, G, two, C, two, and A minor, two, and F, two, and G, two, and C, two, and C again. Like that. Now let's talk about how we can spice it up with our strum, make it more spicy, adding some down strums and possibly some riffs. So if you're ready to move on to something a little bit more advanced, continue. And if not, go to the easy play along.
I have the, right here on the timestamps. I like to add a chuck to the strumming pattern. Me long ago, there's a calm before the storm. What is a chuck? A chuck is a, both a percussion and a mute sound. I have a whole video on that and I'll link that down below in the description box. But um, basically, try to get the backs of your fingernails involved. I try to get more than one, but one is a good start. I'm scraping it against my strings. If you muted your strings, it would sound like that rather than more of the fleshy part. So just got a little bit more attack. It's subtle. The part that isn't so subtle is stopping the strings from ringing. So down, up, chuck. When I chuck, I am throwing, like throwing yourself back on a bed, this fleshy part of my hand against my strings. It is a skill that I know for myself. It took me, you know, weeks, months to really develop it. So just be kind and gentle on yourself and try it and always use your ears to listen, am I doing it? And study it in isolation. I, you know, if you spend two minutes a day doing this and you listen and you futz with it too, you know, like, okay, that wasn't quite it, and keep working at it, you will get it. You will. I, I believe in you and just believe in yourself. Time to throw in some fast cording hand motion. Have you ever seen the rain? Let's practice that little bit of fancy footwork. We're going to start at the A minor of rain, and we are going to go down, up, chuck, up, and then we're going to go A minor, G, and then go back to the F, chuck. Really slowly, A minor, down, up, chuck, up, A minor, G, F, those little slashes there that that's just a single down strum and then we go to the F which is in the next line of the music let's play it together four times nice and slowly one two here we go down chuck up A minor G F chuck up one two let's do it again A minor chuck up A minor G Do it again. Down, chuck up, A minor, G, F, chuck up. One more time. A minor, chuck up, A minor, G, F, chuck up. Now, there is no such thing as an up chuck, but when you say uh, chuck up, so my students go like, what's an up chuck? <laughs> throw some riffs into this. First of all, you'll sound more like CCR, Creedence Clearwater Revival, and gives you some style points too. The opening riff looks like this. So just your ring finger moving. I suggest using the ring finger because then the next thing you're going to go to is a C chord, so it's just right in place. I'm going to do it four times super slowly. I'll say the open string numbers and then I will say three for when you're putting your finger down. So starting with the A string. One, two, ready, begin. A three, E, E three. One, two, do it again. A three, E, E three. One, two, the third time. A three, E, E, three, last time. A, three, E, E, three. And again, if you're not getting this right away, you're perfectly normal. Just sit down, you know, and again, I believe that you have two minutes dedicated to this over the course of five, seven, eight days, you will have a lot greater mastery on this. So again, you're just using your A and your E string. In this riff, we're going to strum a C all the way down. Then you're going to go 2nd fret A string, open A, 
go to the third fret E string and open E. I'll do that again just so you can see it. Let's do it really slowly together four times. One, two, here we go. Three, two, A, three, E. One, two, here we go. Three, two, A, three, E. We do it again. Three, two, A, three, E. One more time. Three, two, A, three, E. To end the song, you do that riff as well, except for you're going to throw a C chord at the end like this. So, hey, just for good measure, let's do that a couple times. One, two, here we go. Three, two, A, three, E, and a C chord. Do it again. Three, two, A, three, E, C chord. So a little bit of, not a history nerd, but maybe more a philosophy nerd here. Oh, can you tell that I teach university classes? This song isn't necessarily about that phenomena, which I think we've all seen if you get to be a, the age that I am, where you've got beautiful sunshine and it's raining at the same time. And I'm looking out here because I have a beautiful vista out here, and I've seen that vista <laughs> of rain and sunshine right at the same time. This is talking about gratitude in many ways, because yes, life is you know, a salt and pepper of good and bad mixed together. And you know, sometimes something that looks good can actually kind of turn out to be not so good. So this song is just saying, uh, forever on it goes. Through the circle, fast and slow, as I'm reading the lyrics here. Yeah, I know, it can't stop, I wonder. So just appreciate that, um, the light and the dark, the absence and the, um, abundance. They all happen together and it happens to everybody. This is an easy play along. None of the fancy little stuff. We're going to keep it really basic for beginners. I would hope that you'd want to support this channel by giving this a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, ringing that notification bell, and consider becoming a patron because then I'll give you an extra generous reward by getting access to all my chord charts, as well as two sessions a month where you can Zoom with me. So, as a group, not, not private Zooms, but come, come join me on Patreon, support this channel, and get great rewards too. I have an easy chord chart for the song, and then the more harder chord chart as well. But let's do the easy play along. So, one, two, ready, begin. I know it's been common for some time When it's over, so they say It'll rain a sunny day I know shining down like water Down on a 
this helped you on your ukulele journey and I hope too that you'll work with it so that you can eventually go to the next play along where we've added all the fun stuff. So please let me know uh, down in the comments below. How's, how's it going? I'd love to hear from you and I answer all my comments too. Here we are at the more advanced play along. Please let me know how it goes and were you able to do all of it, just parts of it? Let me know about your ukulele journey because I really like hearing from you. Leave it in the comments down below. Help spread the ukulele love and support this channel and consider becoming a patron, getting access to over 200 chord charts and keeping this channel going. One, two, oh, one, two, here we go. a calm before the storm I know it's been coming for some time when it's over so they say it'll rain a sunny day I know shining down like water all the way to the end. A big thank you to my husband too. I decided to film here in front of these paintings. I have my cabin here in Alaska and I was trying to get everything right and I thought, oh, I'll just take the picture off the wall, right? Oh gosh. <laughs> that was more hassle than I thought and he had to help me stick it back up on the wall and we lost part of the paint below too. <laughs> all right. Big shout out to all my patrons. I really, really could not do